I'm Nathan Schneider with Waging Nonviolence. I'm here at Liberty Plaza in the financial district of New York City where several hundred activists are camped out uh, as part of the Occupy Wall Street action. I've noticed in a lot of the coverage of this action that people are concerned that there isn't a finely articulated demand, uh, as actually the initial ad busters call uh, uh, promised. Also, they've been focusing on things like marches and, so, and, and the, the really loud, attention-getting, energetic actions that people are undertaking here. But I think it's important to recognize that what's happening behind me right now, the General Assembly, is really the reason for this occupation. We're out here is because we're on the precipice of a significant financial devastation. The first General Assembly was in Wall Street, and it was at uh, the Raging Bull. And since then we've been meeting, we met at the Potato Famine Memorial, and after that we've been meeting every weekend at Tompkins Square Park on Saturday in preparation for this action, September 17th, but also beyond that. And one of the things that came up uh, was what a General Assembly is. And for us it was very important to kind of recognize that we're part of a, we thought, a movement that's global, that we've seen resemblances of something, or we saw inspiration in Tunisia, and particularly in Egypt and Tahrir Square, and then more in Western countries like Greece and Spain. And we thought that there was something like that possible here. And they all used a form of general assembly, which uh, relies on consensus. And it's an open participatory, participatory process um, that's not hierarchical, it's horizontal. And it allows for people to get involved, constitute themselves, bring in their own ideas to a process. And so, how do you think it's going? I think it's, I think I mean, it's going great. It started out with, with a group of a few hundred people who were involved in New York and then now it's grown to involve a lot of people who've come from all over the country and the world. Um, what has it been like uh, from your perspective to bring these new people in, get them involved in the General Assembly process, some of whom were expecting maybe something else when they arrived? I know. It's inspiring and it's beautiful and it's, uh, it's, it's amazing to see people coming together and getting to know one another in a space that allows them to be who they are. And a lot of people are asking, what is the one demand? I mean, the initial ad busters call for September 17th said, asked, what is our one demand? So um, how does that fit in with the General Assembly? It seems like rather than having one demand, people are just here talking. The demands will come, but I think they will come organically out of these people. How do you see, maybe even after the demands come out and there's some more clarity about what this group stands for, uh, what do you think that this occupation can accomplish? I think this occupation is, uh, is a place where people can come back, show solidarity, get involved, learn the tools uh, of General Assembly and how to relate to one another and how to empower yourself and then go to their own communities, right? in Bushwick, in, in the Bronx, in whatever, and have their general assembly, you know? And have that discussion going on outside of the normal streams of media or politics or whatever. Because if you are having a problem eating, that's your problem, <laughs> you know? And it's good to talk about that. And then you come over here. Looks like it's getting going. These assemblies can be long and frustrating, sometimes taking as many as six hours at a time. But for these activists, they create the necessary alternative to the kind of political system that's been driven by what goes on in the buildings around us here. It's the basis, they believe, for a new kind of legitimacy, one based on people and not on money. Now, in Spain, why was the General Assembly such an important part of the process? I think because it's the best example we found of real democracy, of true democracy, of a horizontal movement, you know? We don't have a leader, 
anybody, everybody can do whatever they want as long as they do things that represent everybody. Who agree? It's like that. If somebody doesn't agree, it's okay. Let's reform the, 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 the proposal to get everybody uh, conform and agree with that. And that's democracy. And that's how that started. We started like uh, they are now creating commissions. I mean the audiovisual commission. And we started changing things little by little. And that's, and I'm the happiest person in the whole world since 15th of May. We had a space to be together and share our worries and how and and share our ideas that what can we do to try to change the world and the first thing is to change ourselves